Hey everyone, Greg here. I am almost finished with all my finals. I appreciate your patience. You subscribe to the channel for a reason, so I'm going to try to deliver as much content as possible without compromising on the word quality. And you can take that to mean whatever you'd like. Uh, but in the context of this, I am going to keep it very simplistic. I'm not going to do much editing. I'm not going to do many overlays or pop-ups or any of that. I might throw a few pictures in just to help explain what I'm trying to describe. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So let me know in the comments below if you like this style, this bare bone style uh, video. Uh, we're going to talk about topics like the one I'm about to talk about in these kinds of videos so maybe watch this one all the way through and then tell me what you think about it in the comments below if you don't like it we'll stop it and move on to something else but if you do like it I would like to know so that I know to continue these because uh, I think these topics are fairly interesting and I would like to hear ideas for future topics as well but the one I want to talk about here is screen resolutions that was a very very confusing topic uh, back in the day and you might be thinking well great come on like okay 1080p we all know 1080p is 1920 by 1080 right that's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio if you divide 1920 by 1080 it's the equivalent of 16 over 9, okay? So 1080p, that's, that's what that is. That's literally the number of pixels going from the top to the bottom of the screen. Well, it gets more confusing than that because that's regarded as full HD, right? So if we move on to something like 1440p, that ratio, I wrote this down to make sure I didn't say it wrong. The, the 1440p uh, pixel dimensions are 2560 by 1440, okay? Now that ratio still comes out to 16 over nine, right? But you have more pixels packed into the screen. So your resolution is gonna be higher. It's pre preferable, right? You wanna have a higher resolution screen. Well, that, that resolution, 1440p, is technically quad HD. Now you're thinking, okay, well, quad HD, so that means that it's four times the resolution of HD. So isn't that 4K? Well, no, it's not. And that's why I was confused for a long time because I would see uh, even phones come out with quad HD screens and I would think, wow, they're packing 4K resolutions into really, really small screens. That's crazy. And I know they are actually now, like the, the Sony Xperia Z5, I think is a 4K HD screen, a few others. Uh, but but a, a few years ago, that was like unheard of. Why is it called quad HD if it's not actually four times the resolution of HD? Well, that's just it. It actually is. And it goes back to the roots of HD. The definition of HD when it comes to screen resolutions is 720p. So we're saying 1280 by 720 is actually the definition of high definition. Uh, so 1080p is actually an improvement on regular HD, and that's why we call 1080p full HD. So when you see FHD, sometimes it's called, or uh, it'll just say full high definition, that's 1080p. But now sometimes you'll see a screen that'll say high definition, that could be 720p. So you wanna check the dimensions to make sure that the screen you're looking at has the dimensions, the, the pixel dimensions that you're expecting it to have. You don't wanna be undersold and get a 720p screen when you thought you were getting a 1080p screen. That would kinda of suck. So. Keep that in mind, always double check the, the, the screen resolution um, in actual numbers. Don't just take it for at its face value as HD because it could just be 720p and that would not be false advertising because 720p is, is HD, not full HD, but it is HD. So 1080p is full HD, and then above that is 1440p, and that's quad HD. So it's called quad HD because it's four times the resolution of 720p. So if you take four 720p screens and stack them one next to each other and then two on top of those screens, that's quad HD. That is the 2560 by 1440 resolution. So that makes sense now, right? So it's called quad HD because it's based on 720p, which is the actual definition of HD. So four times the resolution of 720p is quad HD. And then lastly, we move on to 4K. 4K is four times the resolution of 1080p. So four times the full HD resolution is 4K, which is 38, uh, 3840 by 2160. So if you take two, uh, two 1080p screens and stack them next to each other, and then take two more and stack them atop those two, that's 4K. So you can see 4K is actually uh, much, much higher in resolution than 1440p is, even though 1440p is still defined as quad HD. So what I want you to take away from this, I know this is not a long video, uh, but I, I wanted to make the distinction between these four different types and why they're called what they're called. Um, when you're looking for screens and looking at, I don't know, phones or anything else that has a, a screen resolution, double check the actual, the actual dimensions of the screen in terms of pixels. Uh, just because it says HD, that doesn't mean that it's going to be 1080p. And just because it says that it's four times the resolution of HD, that doesn't mean it's gonna be 4K. In fact, in most cases, that'll mean quad HD, which is actually uh, 
lower resolution than, than 4K. It's significantly lower if you ask some people. So keep those things in mind. I just wanted to, to kind of let you guys know about this. I'm sure a lot of you already knew, uh, but those are the different classifications of HD. So you start out with HD at 720p, Full HD at 1080p, Quad HD at 1440p, and 4K at four times the resolution of 1080p. So with that, if there's anything you'd like to add to the topic at hand, be sure to do so by leaving a comment in the comment section below. If you have ideas for future topics, be sure to leave those in the comments as well. Uh, I, I read all of them. I honestly do. I don't know if you guys believe me, but I read every single comment that comes through the channel and comes through every video. They all come to my mailing app on my iPhone, so whenever I get a notification, I open it up. I have four right now, so I'll be reading those after the filming of, of this video is finished. Uh, but thank you for the contributions and thank you for the devotion to the channel and the engaging conversations, even if they're not the most civil. Um, it, you're learning something, right? You're learning some social skills at least. So with all of that said, we're about to hit 10,000 subscribers. 10,000. Heck, by the time you're watching this video, it could be 30 minutes after it's been uploaded or two years in the future. Heck, we hit 10,000 subscribers at around the time that this video was uploaded, and that's freaking crazy. And that's all thanks to all of you who are subscribed. Thank you. Even for those of you who are just watching, consider subscribing because we, we do post some pretty interesting videos. Um, I, don't, I don't build computers that are very expensive. I build computers that most of us can afford, at least to some degree. I'm not a big uh, you know overspender when it comes to computer parts and, and graphics cards and water cooling units and all of that it's it's just kind of it's just what I can afford at the time and that's ultimately what I end up building and I'm glad that most of you have been letting me know that you appreciate that because that's what I think I'll continue to do uh, because you can go to any other computer building channel on YouTube and watch two thousand dollar PCs being built and that's you know that's great and all but how many people can actually afford that or, or are willing to afford that, it's, you know, some of these things get a little ostentatious. So I, st I typically stay around 600 to $1,200. That's about the most I've ever spent on a computer. And that's where I think that the, the target computer price will be for this channel uh, for the foreseeable future, unless you guys tell me otherwise. So uh, thank you for all of your contributions. Be sure to like this particular video if you like this style and this format. If you don't like it and you don't want to see any other videos like this on the channel ever again, give it a thumbs down. I do take all of those to heart. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because uh, just just do it, I guess, and uh, stay tuned for, for more content, especially coming up these next few months. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.